Hi there, my name is Melissa and welcome to Simple or Not Kitchen. Today in Simple or Not Kitchen, we are making this creamy, sweet and delicious chai latte. And we're even going to steam the milk, but we don't need a steamer to do it. I'm gonna show you an easy way to steam the milk without a steamer. You can make this chai latte with any kind of tea, whatever your favorite flavor is. I've used the floral teas. Um, there's even a vanilla chai tea um, that works well. You can use a jasmine tea. Um, I've used a couple different floral type teas. Basically, you can use any kind of tea that you like. Um, you could even use an English breakfast tea um, or anything that you like. But my favorite tea to make this chai latte with is this sweet and spicy tea made by Good Earth. It's caffeine free and it has such good flavor. It works really well with this recipe. As well as the tea, we're gonna need some vanilla. I'm using about half a teaspoon. We also need some pumpkin pie spice. Again, about a half a teaspoon. I'm using about two tablespoons of sugar. I like my chai latte nice and sweet. We also need a cinnamon stick. You can adjust these flavors however you like. We're also going to need some milk, as much milk as you like, and just plain old regular milk, and we are going to later steam it. To steam it, we're just gonna need a simple jar with a cover. We have about two and a half cups of boiling water. We're going to go ahead and set our two tea bags in. I use about two tea bags for every two and a half cups of water. We're going to just one by one add each of our ingredients, our pumpkin pie spice, our sugar. You can of course cut back on the sugar or substitute with honey. And in goes our vanilla, and this is what's going to really transform it. And then our cinnamon stick. We're going to just put them all into the boiling water, give it a little bit of a stir. Then we're going to cover it and let it sit. We want it to sit for probably a good three to four minutes. So we're gonna let it sit while we work on steaming our milk. So for our milk, we are going to just pour it in a regular jar. I save all of my jars. They come in so handy in the kitchen. There's so many things you can do with just a plain old jar. We're going to go ahead and just pour our milk into that jar. Then we're going to put the cover on the jar and we're going to go ahead and shake it. We're gonna shake it for about 60 seconds. Um, it doesn't have to be too vigorous of a shake, but we're going to go ahead and shake it until it's nice and frothy. This does really take about 60 seconds, a little bit longer. And you'll see that when you take the cover off, it's nice and bubbly and frothy. We're then going to microwave it for about another 60 seconds. Make sure you take the lid off of the jar, especially if it's a metal lid. There are a few different ways to steam and froth your milk at home for lattes, um, including using a French press coffee maker. You can just pour your warm milk in there and just use the plunger to incorporate some air. However, I find that the jar and shaking method is the easiest method. Using the microwave method, it comes out perfectly frothy and warm each time. So to make our latte, we're just simply going to take some of our sweet and spicy tea that we spiced up and sugared up a bit, and we're going to pour it into our favorite teacup. Then we're going to take that frothy milk and we're going to go ahead and pour a little bit in there and put some of the froth and foam right on top. This tea comes out so sweet and creamy. You are just going to love it. And of course, it's adjustable. You can customize it however you, you like. If you don't like cinnamon or you don't like pumpkin pie spice or vanilla, just adjust it however you like. If you try it, let me know how it turned out. Thanks so much for watching. You'll find more recipes, videos, and articles at PinellCentral.com.